Hi there, this is Kenneth B and you're watching Blue Collar Guy. All right, so today we're going to be looking at something a little bit unique, but critical if you charge at public USB charging stations. So if you're like a lot of people and your phone is going dead and you need some power, quite often you will plug your phone into a, an unknown USB source. Now I'm not talking about plugging your power brick into a wall outlet or um, and then plugging your phone into that. I'm talking about when you just see a USB jack in a public place or in a place that you're not familiar with and you decide to charge your phone. So what I've got here is a USB cable tester and I'm going to show you what it looks like. You can buy these on Amazon, they're about $14. They have more elaborate ones, and those ones can run you about $22, and they have their own battery source. They take a battery much like one of these. I don't really recommend those because the time that you need it, this might be dead, and, and what good is it anyway? So, what I'm going to do is show you a USB um, uh, tester, cable tester, that runs off of a power bank, or you can run it off of any, any other source just to give it power. The power goes here where it says power, which is pretty simple. Let me just get that a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so this is the zoomed up feature of it. Okay, so we have <clears throat> this one here it says power. This is where you'll take power in. And I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, so I will take this power bank. Okay. And I will put it in here. Okay. And then I will be able to test any USB. This is a USB C to USB C. This is a USB A, and you can do that to a USB micro USB, USB C, or Fire. That uh, would be for your Apple products. So, I'm going to give you an example of that. So, here is a pretty common USB, this would be a USB-A to USB-C, let me just zoom out, so you can see that a lot better, USB-A to USB-C, okay, there we go, and um, get that in focus. Okay, so, then we're going to plug this one in here. Oops, wrong way. You can only put, put them in one way. Oh, no, it was just stiff. And this one here goes in here, and then this one's going to go into the USB-C. And as you can see, right here, you've got four lights that lit up. Just zoom in. Okay. So the one that's marked CC is basically for a high speed or uh, fast charging cable. Uh, you've got your ground over here, you've got your other voltage over here. So if it was just for charging only, okay, if it was just for charging only, you would have this one and this one. But for data, you're going to have D1 and D minus. Those are for your data. So this particular cable here is a not only a charging cable, but it also can exchange data. But it is not for fast charging. 
So this little device here, this little $14 device, can help you go through all those cables that you've probably collected over the years, because every time you bought something or whatever, you didn't know. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you're using public charging stations, you don't want those little data lights to be on, because your phone or your other devices could be risk of getting hacked. Because the minute you plug in to a data exchange outlet, then you're pretty much accepting uh, whatever consequences come with that. Now, I'm going to um, also show you what it looks like when you don't have the data lights on. So I'm going to take this one off. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to take this one off because I know that this is just a data cable. We're going to switch them around here. Let's, I know my power brick isn't going to hack my phone. Okay. And this little short cable here looks like every other USB-C cable, but it should only... There we go. So look, only two lights are on, and those are just for power only. So this is for charging only. So I always keep this particular cable with my power bank. So if my power bank's dead, my phone's dead, I know that if I plug this into a public uh, outlet, that my phone cannot get hacked because the cable cannot exchange data. Now, you can buy what they call secure charge cables from Amazon. But you might already have one. You might already have 10. They sell for like $20. So, I don't need to go buy a $20 cable because guess what? I have one and it was probably for free. Probably mixed in with one of my other um, charging, uh, you know, cables. But, but when I'm at home and I'm charging you know, I know all my outlets are not going to, I'm not going to hack myself. So I can use those other cables for charging my other devices. And I know that I'm safe here. But as far as um, uh, using public, I want this cable here. So I'm going to just take this cable out now. I'm going to take this cable. And I'm just going to grab a USB-C cable to USB-C. Now, whenever you see one of these where it's got a USB-C, USB-C, this one's made by Anchor. These are known for 100 watt charging, some of them even more. These particular cables also can have high speed data transfer, sometimes 45, you know, megabytes per second or something like that so it all depends some of them will be written right on there so if i plug this one into the usb-c to the usb-c then look at that i don't have oh wait a minute do i have that one lit up no i do not have that one lit up i thought that the so this is not high speed or or, or uh what they call fast, fast charging. Let me just see something here. I thought this one was a fast charging. See, I just learned something new off of this cable here. It might be USB-C to USB-C, but it is not fast charging. So, let me just see something else here. Okay, I'm going to grab another cable. Okay, just throw that one aside. This one here is a USB-C to micro USB. Now this one should just be for charging only because that's what most of these are. Let me just see. Yep, that's all it is, just for that. It's just for charging only, micro USB. 
Okay, one good thing about micro USB, you don't have to worry about data transfer problems. And I've got this one here. This is another USB A to USB C cable. So, and this one here is just for, uh, it's not the high speed data transfer. So, but I could have sworn that I had one that was for high speed around here somewhere. Anyways, for fast charging, you'll have the other one. And let me just see something here. I'll try this one here. And maybe they could be directional. I do, actually that light is lit. This light is lit, just not lit very bright. So it is high speed capable, high fast charging capable. The other ones did not light up that light at all. So I think I was just reading that wrong. My mistake. This is another one of these high speed. Uh, micro USB, this one should just be for charging only, see, charging only. So, basically, if you have a USB, there, you can measure the sine wave, I guess, of the charging cable, or data cable. Let's see if this is affected on that. There we go. As you can see, it's just your typical sine wave. This is the power going out. If I, five volts. Yeah, we're just, we're just testing the, the, uh, basically the, um, cable itself just for connection purposes should be able to get the ohms on it cable resistance so there we go all right okay so pull this one out I'm going to put this one back in again, A to USB A, and this one, let's just go with, yeah, let's do this one here. Yeah, one thing that I'll let you know is on your USB A's, when you have the two little holes instead of this, this is the part that matches up to here, they click right into there, see. So, if you're not sure, that's how they go. USB-C don't. Okay, so that one's not lit up at all in the middle. Okay. But on the other one, it was. And I think it lights up in a variable way. The brighter it is, the more fast charging capable, I suppose it is. Okay. So, anyways, in conclusion... For $14, you could save yourself a lot of money if you've already got a lot of cables around. Also, if you're not sure about a cable or someone's given you a cable that you're not sure of, you can test it with this little device here. Uh, it's got two little holes, so if you want to mount it on a board, you can. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these things bought in other countries are only a fraction of the cost. Realistically, this thing should only be about five or six dollars, but you know now it's selling for fourteen. I still find it very handy and useful, though. Um, it is functioning properly, so I am getting a decent uh, sine wave on that, and the voltage is obviously fine. So, anyways, it is well made. You know. 
well labeled. Um, it did not come with any instructions, so this is why you really want to watch my video because there is no instructions whatsoever. It does have this uh, QR code here, which does absolutely nothing. And that's the downside. So just remember that VD is not stand for venereal disease. It means your voltage and the ground is obviously uh, to complete your circuit. The D1 plus and D minus are for data and the CC, I believe, and from what I can see, is when you're going with uh, fast charging or rapid charging cables that are uh, capable of handling a lot more wattage. Um, so don't quote me on that. If there is any uh, different opinion on that, please leave it in the comments, and I will absolutely update my uh, information. So as far as I know, the CC is for rapid charging cables from going from USB-C to USB-C, these two right here. Now, as far as the other more elaborate boards that you can get like this that cost more money that can do a bigger variety of cables, if you have weird and strange cables kicking around, by all means, but those ones cost more money and I really think that this is all you really need. You're just chatting. Most people just have USB A, USB C, and micro USB. So, again, this is just for power. It's uh, just so you can power the unit. And I, I kind of like that better than having a battery on something like that. Just something else to go wrong, you know. Very efficient, very easy to use. You know, uh, and if your cable has a break in it or you're not sure if your cable's functioning properly because sometimes they get a kink in them, you can test them to see if they're still functioning good. You know, uh, you want to make sure that your cables aren't going to hurt your phone or your sensitive electronics. If you've seen any of these lights that were intermittently blinking on and off, then obviously you don't want to be using that cable anymore. Um, you may even have a cable that has a break in the line on one of the data, so it may charge, but maybe somewhere it got a short in it and you got um, one of your data cables is out. Because even if one is out, one light will stay on and one light will go off, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you may also lose the ground, which could affect things. So you don't want to have those situations either. So it also will test the, the quality of what's going on. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share it with your friends, especially if you know that they have a lot of USB cables. If you're traveling to a foreign country, you may want to make sure that you at least bring some secure data cables, which would, I believe, if I didn't mix them up. See, now, if you mix up your cables and you don't have them labeled like me, uh, oh, that's a micro USB, sorry. Um, and I think this is the one here. So I'm just going to check, check it again, because again, if your cables aren't labeled, you might want to, there you go. So this is just for supplying power to my phone. It will not exchange data. If I was in a country that I had to use a jack where I'm plugging this directly into the power source, then I want this cable. And then that way I'm not giving anyone access to my device through these data cables. Okay, so that's it. Have a good day and be safe at work. Thank you.